We're going to do the same thing as the last couple problems. We're going to graph these equations right here, and we're going to rotate the region around the x-axis using the disk method. Now graphing first the square root of x function, we know that that looks something like this. Our region goes from x equals 0 to x equals 4, and it's also bounded by y equals 0, which is just this x-axis here. And the x equals 0 in this problem is not really necessary. So our region looks just like this, and we can use the disk method to slice this region into pieces and rotate each piece around the x-axis, creating a bunch of disks, each with width dx. Now again, our volume is going to be the sum of all of the little volumes of each one of those disks. Each one of those disks has a volume of pi r squared times dx in this case. And you'll notice that no matter where our x is, the radius of that little disk is given by the function, the square root of x. So we're going to replace our r with this square root of x. We're also going to integrate this from the lowest x value in the region, which is 0, to the highest x value in the region, which is 4. Now this integral should be slightly simpler than the previous integrals that we've done, because we know that the square root of x squared is just x. Integrating x with respect to x just gives us a 1 half x squared, and evaluating that from 0 to 4 should simplify down pretty well for us. I'm getting a final answer of 8 pi, which is very nice and satisfying. Okay, I like that problem. That was a little quicker, a little bit simpler than some of the previous problems. I'll zoom out so that you can see the setup again, and as always, I hope that that helped.